Welcome to the Lancer Media Sports Podcast. My name is Jason Bird, and we are joined by senior Scott Hummel and Xander McClure as we talk about the Lancers 2020-2021 football season. We just got through the final game of the season against the Urbana Hawks as we recap one of the most difficult years in sports, especially for high schoolers, probably ever. The Lancers just won their final game on April 16th. Uh, Brady Domro put up four touchdowns, one of which was game ceiling with 42 seconds left. Defense forced two fumbles and an interception to end the game. Um, Xander, I'll start with you. What were you thinking when Brady scored that final touchdown? You guys were just able to seal that victory. Honestly, I was just so proud of the of the guy. I mean, I was telling the the Frederick News Post guy that he's one of the most underrated players in Maryland, in my opinion. Um, Cause honestly, he could do it all, and every, everybody's seen that over the years that he can just do anything on the field that coach needs him to do. So I was just so proud of him for him to be able to pull that out like he did. And what do you think was the biggest part of the offense? We kind of wanted to like spread it out a little bit with me with having me out at slot receiver and then putting Brady back in the backfield, and obviously that was a really big success. Success and just trying to get the ball moving you know, as we usually do and and right. and doing what we what we can do best. And then on the opposite side on defense, you both play uh, both ways now. Scott, uh, what was the biggest part in trying to hold House and Eric Kohler um, enough to win this game? Uh, I just think uh, kind of looking at it, both uh, House and Kohler are both really athletic players. They're extremely fast, they're good uh, all around. But their biggest thing is, you know, uh, their speed. And honestly, probably the biggest thing on uh, defense was making sure we could contain them, keep them, keep in the backfield, make sure they wouldn't break outside because uh, they uh, become much more difficult to tackle and uh, keep uh, keep control of when they're out right. in uh, the open field. Mm -hmm. Obviously, with the limited restrictions with fans, it's a bit more now that there was tickets available for people. When you guys started to get momentum scoring, how did the fans kind of help you guys with that attitude that you are used to at home? I mean, we really haven't experienced a lot from the fans since it was very restricted towards the beginning of the season. So, you know, getting to hear the encouragement from the fans and all that stuff definitely helped uh, keep us motivated for the rest of the game since it kind of reminded us of what it was like last year and the years prior to that. So. I think overall having the fans cheer us on definitely just kept us kept us excited for the game and uh, made sure we kept playing hard. And while this wasn't an ideal final season as a senior, uh, what what is one of the biggest takeaways that you got from this year, uh, especially compared to your junior year? I think the biggest takeaway for me was, you know, coming into this, I know both Xander and I are uh, going off to college next year to play football. so. This year, knowing it wasn't a big season, it was just kind of, you know, getting a getting a last season, even though it was shorter with uh, some of the guys I've been playing with since youth and uh, kind of preparing uh, some of the younger juniors. We had uh, two juniors start on our line this year, and I know there were several juniors elsewhere starting on both sides of the ball. So it was uh, getting them prepared for next season and, uh, you know, just kind of enjoying the last season with the guys that we've been playing with since elementary school and middle school. Xander, same question. What do you think is one of the biggest takeaways that you got from this year uh, compared to your junior year? Um, honestly, I, I think just being able to step up and and fill that role that the the seniors left us to take last year when we were juniors was mm -hmm. a, was a huge thing. Um, because because like Scott just said, I mean, we had juniors that need that we needed to take under our wing and and help them step up to help us be able to perform at the level that we know we can perform at so just being able to being able to step up and, and be that role model uh for the for the younger guys um and then enjoying the our last season together because i mean before every game me and scotty told everybody that i mean this is our last ride together and and that we're never going to get this again. And I mean, it's been a long ride since we were in, in youth and it all started with us. So so that was that was a huge takeaway for me. Of course. And uh, as you said, you guys had to step up as leaders. So what do you think this Lancer team's going to look like for next year and maybe two years after 
due to you guys being such great leaders and along with some other seniors? Uh, I think, and this, and this goes for like years in the past too, the reason, a big reason on why Lincoln you know, football is, is such success is because um, Coach Connor does such a good job of like getting everybody in the mix, in, like including the younger guys. So that way the next, like the following years, whether it's their junior and senior year or just their senior year, they've already stepped up in that role and they're able to, um, they're able to get the job done as well as they needed to get as well as they can. So right. that's, I mean, that's a huge, huge part of, of the success in, in the Lingano football program because those players are already kind of there. You know what I'm saying? Right. And Scott, I'll, I'll kind of ask you a similar question. Uh, Xander, you just talked about Coach Connor. How has Coach Connor and all those other coaches um, really helped maintain a stable Linganor football program, especially through COVID and return to play? I mean, they kind of do everything for us. They really do. Uh, besides, you know, the hours of coaching do with us on the field, they, pro they probably spend several more hours back at home, you know, watching film, uh, preparing plays, making sure, you know, the right kids are where they need to be position wise. And they kind of do a lot of stuff behind the scenes, a lot more than they probably do on the field and during the games. Uh, so I think just all the preparation that they do is uh, really kind of like what sets Lingnor apart. Because, you know, even before the season starts, you know, the coaches have a fair idea of who's who's coming in, what's going to be expected and uh, how they're going to execute that season. And so with this being your senior year, how do you think this season in particular helped shape you as an athlete? You know, you guys have to work hard. You guys train uh, much more gruelingly, especially through, you know, difficult situations. Um, there's other athletes trying to, you know, work towards scholarships still without having a full season. So how do you just think this helped shape you for college, you know, coming up? I think the biggest thing looking at this is, uh, I think, understanding kind of adversity and how it's going to be, you know, get not even really knowing that we'd be actually having a season until about a month prior. So mm. I think understanding that, you know, nothing was really set in stone for us and uh, just understand that, like, we had what we had and, you know, going dealing with that. And unfortunately, we know we didn't have the full season. We didn't have playoffs. And, you know, we still we still made the best. And I think looking into college, you know, you're not going to win every game. And, you know, you're not going to have the best. Uh, every play is not going to be the best. So I think uh, looking at that, I think it's definitely going to be good coming into college. And with things get, definitely getting a lot harder as the level, uh, the level of talent definitely increases kind right. of understanding adversity and all that kind of stuff. This season, I think this kind of a, the epitome of all of that is just understanding adversity and like getting past it. And of course, this again, senior year, final thing, you talk about college plans. Uh, Xander, you're going to Slippery Rock and Scott, you're going to James Madison. What are you going to miss about Linganore football? I think the biggest thing I want to miss is uh, aside of just being at Linganore and just loving the communities, I, I loved, you know, getting to be out. And I knew I was playing with the same guys I've been playing with since when I started in fifth grade. And, you know, I know I know how Xander runs the ball. I know what he's going to do. And obviously, I, I love seeing, like, what he's going to do, running the ball, scoring the touchdown. Same with Brady, doing the exact same thing. Cole, Nick, all of them that I've been playing with since youth ball. So I think really just that uh, the relationship I built with a lot of the players is a uh, I'll definitely experience some of that at college, but it's not going to be the same with the guys I've uh, kind of been going through it with since uh, I was little. Mm. And Xander, same question. What are you going to miss about Lingner football the most? Um, kind of going off what Scotty said, the thing I'm going to miss the most is being able to step on that field and and knowing I'm going to be out there with the with the same guys I've been playing with since my first year of football and and just experiencing that that brotherhood and um and I know I'll experience that at college too but like like I've been telling the guys all year long I mean this brotherhood that we have right here I mean it's we're not ever going to experience anything like it and I mean this was a this is a once in a lifetime thing that that we went through and and um just coming up together and being able to play like we did I mean that's that's definitely something that I'm going to miss well, thank y'all 
both for joining me today um, on the Lancer Media Sports Podcast. This is Scott Hummel and Xander McClure joining me. I'm Jason Byrne. The final ride for Langenor football seniors in the 2020-21 season. Thank you very much.